What's the mix between your company, between uh, brick and mortar stores and online channel, and where do you see uh, that heading in the future? Uh, with my companies, e-commerce is probably about only 20%. Uh, that's some areas that we have to improve. Do I think, I think that is by far the future? I'd rather that because we get to directly speak to our customer, consumer. We understand the feedback. Um, and we don't know. We no longer have to deal with the stores, and and a lot of times their issue if they're going to pay, if they're not going to pay, they're going to close the doors. So we have to concentrate on e-commerce. But just like I think everybody's challenge in business, is things are changing so fast in technology. So you know, how are you getting these people to view your page? How are you getting these people to to view your content? How is your content resonating with them? You know, a lot of times e-commerce can actually. Um, hurt your business in some sense, and I learned that the hard way. When we were doing all these beautiful ads for one of my brands, Kooji, you know, we were, the e-commerce page is we would shoot these little flats of the, the garments to sell them, but they weren't shot in any glossy kind of image way. So a kid naturally was going to look at our product. He sees Kooji, he, he pulls it up. He sees all these little flats that look like, you know, this is out of some cheap catalog immediately that's his image of the brand, him, his or hers image of the brand. So now we understood that as much as all this great advertising we're doing, it has to mimic it and mirror it here or it can hurt the brand. So we learn these type of lessons every single day.